Hey everybody, it's RWS Doug back here for another episode of the Temple of Doom version 1.2. Uh, and we just got to the shore. That little thing over there where it's like bumped up and there's a water right there and it had a sign on that life, but all I did was say wave. Um, so nothing that big. Let's check this chest. Solid ground. Okay. We made it, you gasp, dragging yourself onto the beach. That was quite a, sw a swim, agrees Indiana. On the shore, the survivors are starting to stock on the are starting to take stock of the situation. Someone should get help, says one man. You and Indiana agree. We will walk down the beach. Maybe we'll find something. Objective, walk down the beach in the direction marked by the sign. Sigh. Yep, sigh. Okay, this way. Let's pull out the sword. Get 23 pieces of bread. That's a ton. Uh, enjoying the scenery? Uh, yeah, actually, it looks pretty nice. I wonder if this is a randomly spawning jungle or if he, uh, made this himself because there's a, quite a bit of empty field, empty fieldage. What does this say? Surf's up. What does this say? I think I see something gnarly out there, bro. What? It's a submarine! Alright, you guys. We gotta go check this submarine out. Uh, I did read on the forums where this was posted that there were two secret objectives. One was to find your shipwrecked ship somewhere. Which I'm assuming is not that, because that would not be a secret objective. It is part of the storyline. Um, and the other is to find a submarine. Look at that. Is that like a spider web used to make a sign? No, that's totally a piece of glass to uh, make like a little flag thing. Or maybe it's like a the the telescope thing. I uh, that's not what they're called, but I wonder. This is pretty far out here. Also, look at the land underneath. You can see it like with the as it's rendering in. Alright, oh, netherrack fences. Um, okay. So I'm here. Aha! Trap door. Oh, there's a testificate in here. That actually kinda scared me. Look, submarine. Also. Aw, oh, man, if I had picked up three more emeralds, I could have gotten a diamond hoe! Alright, uh, solid ground is still the real thing, so we won't put it online yet. A submarine? No way! Yep, but this submarine isn't here for fun. It's a part of a larger force. That's right, says the captain. We are here on a very special mission, and I am not going to tell you what it is. But, you are here to look around. Objective. Look around the sub, and then return to shore and continue walking down when you're finished. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my uh, my voice acting there. I thought it was pretty good. Alright. Uh, climb down. Oh, there's a ton of stuff. What are you? 11 emeralds for a compass. USCD in you? What about in you? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Any of you guys got CDs? CDs. Nope. Oh, let's see. Two dispensers. Two stacks of 64 arrows. Four jukeboxes. Two more emeralds. And more music discs. But I already have that one, so I don't want another one. And another map. Um, okay. That's the exact same map as these so I'm going to throw that in there because I don't want to be carrying around duplicates of all this stuff and then you are the uh, the 11 emeralds for that let's go ahead and tap that um okay alright uh missile firing function 
one flip the switch flip other switch push button don't blow yourself up button Oh god. Whew. Scared me. Oh, uh, flip that. Wonder if there's anything up here. Nope. That's disappointing. Alright. Just blow some of this guy's ship up. Any other signs? Silo 2. Out of order. Out of order my ass. Yeah. Out of order my ass. If I want to blow something up, I'm going to blow something up. Suck it. Oh, man. All right, uh. Okay, uh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Let's grab another lever. Put on the- No! Um, okay. Look, I can totally do this. Dang it! Alright. We got this. Aha! Right with one air bubble left. Made it! Okay. That was a stupid idea. Not going to do that anymore. I'm going to grab the TNT though. Why not? Uh, I don't want this black wool though. Screw that black wool. I said screw it! Screw the black wool! Okay. Let's push this. So let's see. Engine and reactor radiation risk. Anything down here? Nope. Let's push this. Radiation risk. The heck do you mean radiation risk? What did that do? Oh, that just turns those lights off. This ain't doing nothing. Alright. Well, uh, as disappointing as that was, let's go ahead and head back over to the beach. I mean, that was pretty fun blowing stuff up and all. But, uh, not nearly as cool as I thought it would be. And now, now, even worse, I have to swim all the way back over here. And that's going to take forever. Um, so, not really forever, but don't want you guys to have to watch this, so I will be right back in just a second. Alright you guys, we are back, right over here, back at the surfboard, and as you can see, it is turning nighttime, and I don't want to have to be out here with all these mobs in the jungle. Luckily, we do have a bed, so we're going to place it down, I'm going to jump in it real quick, sleep, turn it back to daytime, there's nothing in the rules that says I can't do that, it actually recommends that you do make your own checkpoints, even though it's not actually a checkpoint because uh, it won't hold your position like that, and I thought I said get rid of this black wool, damn it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and eat a piece of bread, refill our hearts a little bit. And we're going to continue down the beach to this chest right over here, actually. And still a forward. Uh, are we there yet? Okay, another book. Uh, just exactly how long are we going to walk, you ask Indiana? As long as we have to. There must be somebody on this island. Maybe even a city. Objective. 
keep walking. Uh, well, alright, that's exciting. Chicken! I do actually have raw chicken in my inventory. Haha! -ha! Dead. That, and that gives me a full inventory now. Oh no, I think the other object, the other secret objective was find the big stone heads or something like that. And this, I don't know what this is, but I'm going to check it out. There's something about big stone heads or like your pirate ship or something. And look, there's some land over there above the water. I wonder, can I actually get out of, can I actually jump on these ladders? Look, there's another thing over there. And there's a thing on the island right around there. I thought I saw a sign or a chest or something. There's actually a bunch of stuff. Actually, they're all the same, like, pirate ship. Okay. And... Alright, no. Uh... Let me grab a chest. And actually, I'm going to need both. Alright. Bam, chest. What is this up here? Ugh, a bow. Uh, sure. That's totally legitimate for me to jump down here and do that. Definitely. And screw feathers. I just pick up another stack of arrows. Uh, this is, yep, yeah, totally legit. Um, it says I can use whatever means I find necessary to survive and do all this stuff. The map is built with it in mind that you're going to do stuff like this so I figure you know why the hell not I now have a bow and two stacks of arrows so that was definitely worth dropping those two chests uh, and yeah there is a chest on land like I thought so let's see we're gonna swim back over to the land go check out a couple more chests and see if we can get all the way down this island I'm not sure how uh, how far we're supposed to be going I'm probably gonna drop all the books off in this chest too let's see yep landing craft uh yeah I'm just gonna drop all the books off since I need to clear my inventory out look you say out there ships those are military landing crafts look Looks like they might be there might be a war going on. We better be careful. Keep walking down the beach, but proceed with caution. Um, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take a wild guess and say that these are landmines. No. Unless only some of them are and it's just trying to make me feel safe about them. So I'm going to say, screw you guys, and I'm not going to walk on any of them. Unless walking on them will turn off a timed explosion. Wouldn't that be uh, interesting? Might as well. From across the water, you and Indiana see there are landing crafts where the landing crafts were headed. There's an army camp on the beach. Should we go? You ask. Might as well. Indiana, I mean, says Indiana, maybe they can help us. Objective, go to the army camp. I'm liking these, uh, these books and, like, this storyline giving you, like, conversation between you and Indiana. I think that's actually really cool. I think it's a really cool, um, idea and way to, like, progress the storyline really well. I wonder if any of you guys have anything cool. What is this? Fortune 1? 16 pork for an emerald. 10 emeralds for a compass. 8 gold for an emerald. Another Fortune 1 guy. 
Another Fortune 1 guy. A bookcase. An emerald for 10 cookies. Uh, another Fortune 1 guy. Iron boots. Flint. That's a... That's a dumb. Just farm your own flint from it. You could probably get more than 2 from 10 flint anyway. That's, that'd be a freaking... That's probably one of the stupidest trades I've ever seen. There's another bow and 64 arrows again. Oh, for 3 glowstone. That's pretty cool. Oh man, bunch of exclamation marks. Treasure Hunters. Alright, we're going to read this book and we're going to call it an episode. So let's see. Oh, this is a pretty long one. Upon approaching the camp, you are sighted by guards who forcibly take you before their leader. A sharp uniform, a sharp, a sharp, sharpie? I'm assuming sharply uniformed man with a perpetual smirk. He is introduced to you as general. What were you doing outside my camp? He asks. We were shipwrecked and we are trying to find our way back to civilization, reply. That is good, the general replies. I thought for a moment you might be trying to find the temple. But never mind. Uh, then he turns to his guards. Kill them. Without hesitation, you and Indiana turn on the guards, pushing aside their weapons and fighting for your lives. Stop, says the general, just as more so soldiers rush into the fight. I know this man. The general continues. He is the great Indiana Cube. The legendary adventurer who found the famous treasure a few months ago. What's it to you? Indiana says. I am looking for the treasure hidden on this island. You will help me or you will die. Okay, he says, seeing an opportunity to live. Besides, this may be interesting. You and Indiana are then told to go to this with the soldiers who are cutting a path through the jungle. Objective, follow the cleared path through the jungle until you find the next chest. Oh, okay. That's a great objective. Anything in these furnaces? Nope. Alright. Well, like I said, that's going to be the end of this episode. And it looks like that's where we're headed. So, until next time, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, I'm really actually digging this storyline. I think they're doing a pretty good job of it. So, until next time... I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later.